trade your second car for a Lambo? Welcome to the Fire Convoy, your educational resource for financial strategies, trends, and news on the road to financial independence and retiring early. I hope you are all doing well today. I'm your host, Omni, and in this video, I will discuss how to turn your extra car into a Lamborghini using compound interest. I will also discuss the pros and cons to multi-car households and luxury car purchases. So stick around. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. It is a free way to help support my channel and my content. So let's start with the question of the day. Would you rather have a second car today or turn it into a Lambo worth of cash when you retire early? It's a very interesting question. Clearly, this question is a little tongue in cheek. However, I am actually going to show you how to turn your extra car into a Lambo because, well, Lambos are flashier and more fun than a stack of dollar bills. Plus, I am also going to take the extra step and walk the walk, as they say. So in this video, I will model the actual scenario and follow through with the sale of my car, a 2014 Camaro 2SS convertible. No pain, no gain, as they say, and boy, is it going to hurt letting it go. But it is the best choice for my future. And as much as I love my car, with my growing family, it just doesn't get enough use anymore to justify keeping it. A car can be many things, a source of pride, a mode of transportation, a tool for family or a tool for work. But no matter what your cars are to you, they are all depreciating liabilities. They're liabilities because they include payments, repairs, and ongoing expenses. They're depreciating because with every day and every mile, they lose value and slowly expire. All of this has to be considered when deciding on buying or selling your cars. Owning a second car can be very important for some households, but owning unnecessary cars, it's a terrible burden. I purchased an amazing car that provided real pleasure in driving. My Camaro convertible has both zoom factor and chill out factor. A really fun car, but a huge expense with high insurance and little space. Although I planned on keeping it low mileage and owning it forever, priorities change. I am now a family man with a growing family and a need for more space. Trying to stuff the family into a little sports car for an outing is just unrealistic. If you've ever seen into the trunk of a Camaro, you'll know it can barely hold anything. Owning this as an extra leisure car has been fun, but the truth is that the monthly cost of the payments, insurance, and maintenance are monumental. The only expenses higher than this are my home, my food bill, and my savings efforts. So coming in at number four, biggest expense, puts it in the spotlight and demands justification. As it turns out, the $700 a month expenditure is pretty heavy as far as financial burdens go. This brings me to a reflective moment. What is the real cost of this luxury and is it worth it? I will go into this more, but first, why are high-end cars or extra cars a bad financial decision? Well, if they're unnecessary, we have to look at the truth that they're in excess. If you're like me, you could be saving hundreds of dollars a month on the payments and the insurance and the maintenance and the gas by owning fewer vehicles or by owning more moderate vehicle instead of a luxury vehicle. If you follow the FIRE lifestyle, then it's important to understand, although it is absolutely a bad financial decision to own a luxury car or an extra, extra car, you can still do it and be true to the FIRE philosophy. This is because you also need to measure how it affects uh, both your personal financial goals as well as your level of fulfillment that ownership brings. So although it's not about being frugal at the cost of your quality of life, 
you need to make sure you're, you're only spending your money on the things where the cost matches the fulfillment that it actually brings to you. When it comes to fulfillment, I do love my car. I enjoy the fresh air on drives to local parks in the summer. I love the amazing sound of the Boston Harmonic Sound System, but I only ever drive it on weekends and holidays. And as my family has grown, my ability to use it has diminished because I simply can't fit the family in the car with all the basics we need. Uh, that you can't, just can't stash it in the trunk, it's too small. Slowly, the days that I use it have gone down and now I get high fulfillment, but only on rare occasion. Instead, I could be making major improvements in my financial life, put my family on better financial footing and drive my family car, which actually fits the family. It's not that I don't love the Camaro, but rather that the cost is so high that it doesn't justify the amount of use I, and enjoyment that I can get out of it nowadays. Are there better alternatives? Well, just hop online at any rental site and it becomes clear I could rent a similar car for 75 to 100 bucks a day plus all the fees and such. Sure, there are times a year where the price is higher, but compared to $700 a month of expenses for the car every month, I can get the same level of fulfillment for a fraction of the price. So let's talk about selling my Camaro for my Lambo. Let's break it down. How can I turn my Camaro into a Lambo? I pulled up an online site that sells Lambos and it looks like I can get a 2012 Lamborghini Gallardo Spider with low mileage and a drop top for a measly 138,000 bucks. Not bad. I'm gonna to have to do some work to turn the $19,975 I've been offered into this Lambo. Luckily, I have compound interest on my side and about 26 years till I'm 65. <laughs> so let's assume an 8% interest rate on my money and see where that leads. Calculate that rate and compound it for 26 years and I'm at $142,165. What do you know? The opportunity cost of my Camaro is actually enough to buy a Lamborghini. Dang, my future self is gonna be a baller. <laughs> now, I'm gonna do one more calculation here just for you crypto fire folks. Bitcoin's likely to target between 100,000 and 288,000 in the next 12 to 18 months. So if I rolled that money into Bitcoin, I get about 0.5875 Bitcoin of today's price of 34 grand. This could grow to about $59,000 to $170,000 in 18 months. So if I wanted to go wild, I could actually be rolling in my drop top in no time at all. Man, I'd love that. But I have fire goals, and honestly, I wouldn't buy a Lambo at this point in my life, even if I had all that money. After all, you can rent a Lambo for the weekend too. My actual plans for the money are a little less exciting, but I think they're essential. I will pay off all of my bad debt with the proceeds from the sale. Debt free in the beginning of 2021. I'll be able to lower my monthly expenses between the car and my debt by about 1300 bucks a month. From there, I should be able to increase my savings significantly. It's not as exciting as investing the money right away, but the, it's the conservative and safe path. As a family man, my risk tolerance demands that I don't roll the dice to try to swap it into a Lambo in 18 months. Instead, my family will be on more solid financial ground and I will have increased my chances of meeting my FIRE goals. Let me take a moment to remind you, I'm not a financial advisor. The FIRE Convoy and its representatives provide general content for informational purposes only. This material is not legal, tax, investment, financial, or other advice. The full disclaimer is available on my website at thefireconvoy.com slash disclaimer. I hope this video has been helpful and serves to multiply your gains by providing you with a new perspective on owning that second car or that luxury car. I encourage you to join the Fire Convoy to get the most out of your time, to keep your eye on the prize of early retirement, and most importantly, to accelerate your success down this road faster than any one of us could have done alone. Welcome. To the fire convoy and don't forget to let me know in the comment section below would you rather have a second car today or turn it in to a lambo worth of cash by the time you retire you will find more details and resources 
on my website and socials here. If you find my efforts and materials valuable, I also accept crypto donations to help cover my production costs. Thank you and have a fulfilling day.